Mm, that was weird. Well, time to go back to play my video games. I think I'm getting pretty good at this game. I think that's enough video games for today. I'm starting to see things. So I think I'm just maybe hungry. That's probably why I'm seeing things. So let me see if I have any hot pockets in the freezer or something. So. And I am not hungry anymore. I think I just need some rest. I'm really tired and. Oh, heck no. Hello YouTube, I'm Dabby45 and welcome to my channel. Sorry about this incident over here. It just seems like that toy came to life and it's gonna do something to me. But that's a good segue into the movie review of Toy Story 3 by Pixar. Toy Story 3 takes place in a time where Andy has grown up and is about to go to college. However, he does still have some of his toys from his childhood, including Woody, Buzz, Jesse, Bullseye, Dippy Aliens, Rex, Slinky Dog, and Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head. Of course, since Andy has grown up, he doesn't play with his toys anymore. And this causes the toys to feel unwanted and almost useless because they're not being played with. And leading up to Andy starting college, he has to pack up all the things in his room and either put them in the attic or take them to college or throw them away. And of course, over some confusion, his mom accidentally puts his old toys into the street to be thrown away. And it's because from this confusion, all the other toys feel like they're unwanted and just that Andy sees them as junk. Even though Woody knows that he was trying to put them in the attic, all the other toys are convinced that Andy does not want them and thinks of them only as trash. This causes all the toys to want to go to Sunnyside Daycare so that they could be played with over and over again by the kids that are there. When they go to Sunnyside Daycare, they find that it's run by a bear named Lotto who smells of strawberries and that he runs it like as if he's a mob boss. And it's through their time at Sunnyside Daycare where they find out that Lotto isn't as cuddly as he seems. In my opinion, this is a great movie, it has great animation, and all the returning characters are as great as you remember them to be. Of course, before Toy Story 4 was released, Toy Story 3 was considered to be the end of the Toy Story series, and in my opinion, it would have been a great ending to it. Of course, in my opinion, this is the true ending to this Toy Story series, and I do like to forget that Toy Story 4 happened, but that's just my opinion because it just wasn't my favorite of the movie. But of course, everyone's entitled to their opinion. I'm in danger. Well, it definitely escaped. And it could be anywhere in this room. All right, I'm scared. I'm not sure if it'll attack me or not, but I must finish this movie review, even if it kills me. So as I was saying, this movie is a good ending to the Toy Story series. Especially with that end scene where Andy's giving all of his toys to Bonnie. And I can relate to Andy in that end scene because he has to give away a lot of his childhood toys, which I have done over the years as I've grown out of them. And of course, I do have some that I have kept over the years, but I still do find it hard to give up something that's been part of my life for so long. And of course, with how hard it is for him to give away Woody, it does speak to me too because he's so attached to that toy. And when Bonnie reaches for him and he pulls Woody back, it does show how much he loves and cares about Woody and even though he must let him go, he does feel sad that he has to do it. And while this movie does have a good end for Andy's story in these movies, it doesn't really give a good ending for Woody's story. Now the reason why I say that is because Woody does make the last minute decision to go to Bonnie's house with the other toys. However, you don't really see him cope with this decision. And of course, that is why Toy Story 4 does continue Woody's story because he does miss Andy and playing with him and it does add on to his story but of course you could have ended it at Toy Story 3 in my opinion and it would have been just as a great of a series of movies. This movie does bring back a lot of the old characters that I mentioned earlier in the video. However, there are new characters that are introduced but in my opinion they're all pretty much forgettable except for the character of Lotso who is a really great villain in my opinion. Outside of Lotso, a lot of the toys are just forgettable Except for maybe Ken, since he does play a good role in this movie. But all the other ones are just sort of like goons for Lotso and just do his bidding. And then even the new toys of Bonnie are just sort of there. They don't really do much, but introduce more toys to this expanding universe. But of course, Lotso is a great villain in this movie. And I can say that he is the best villain in all four Toy Story movies. Of course, this movie is better than the first two Toy Story movies. But it's not better than the fourth movie. 
But of course, it still is a really great movie. And if you haven't seen it, I suggest that you do watch it. It is a movie that does make me miss my childhood toys and wish that I could go back and get them since that is how Andy does feel when he has to give them away. So that was my review of Toy Story 3, so now I'm going to pick my next movie from the cup. It looks like I got Ratatouille. Thanks so much for watching my video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you Don't you tell me I'm not the one. Don't you tell me I ain't no fun.